the big one. Well, not yet. But it is supposed to be tomorrow, if not on Friday. So don't worry, guys, the wipe is coming. And we know this because the market has been destroyed, the file sale has started, and BSG have been tweeting out tons of hints that it's going to be Thursday. Yes, we all know it's the meme, but yes, Thursday, tomorrow. So call the squad together, call in sick to work, and get ready to slay. But for any of you guys who do not know what's coming in this wipe, there was a roadmap that was released about a month ago what tells you what it is and I'm going to run through it with you. So sit back, like and subscribe and enjoy. So if you've been living under a rock and you didn't get to see this when it came out, I think it was about three or four weeks ago with the uh, roadmap to what was coming to Escape from Tarkov uh, either on the wipe or just after the wipe. Now we're going to be covering the stuff what's going to be in the wipe and then maybe we can glance over things what might be coming also because they're labelled in a way where it kind of gives us an idea of when things are coming and when things might be coming so everything on the left hand side in the green is the stuff we've already recently got in the latest patch that came recently or the stuff that's going to be coming in the wipe either tomorrow or the day afterwards who knows fingers crossed it's thursday it's going to be tomorrow now the first thing being loadout presets now this is something that we've all been asking for for so goddamn long was well, actually something that i mentioned in a recent video on some stuff that tarkov needs to do to help survive by cutting down unnecessary times spent inside of the menus now so now we're going to be able to pre-select and build kits ready to just purchase the second we get out of raid then we can just apply that straight to our pmc and then get straight back into it again massively cutting down on the time spent inside of the menus thank god for that random loot container spawns this is a really interesting one being that with over the time of escape from Tarkov, we've all learned exactly where every single loot container is and have a good idea of what's going to be spawning in them now with the random loot container spawns i think this is going to apply to everything but maybe it could just apply to things like hidden stashes where you'll go to where a hidden stash used to be and it won't be there or it will just be there sometimes i don't know whether they're going to be adding in new spawns for containers or even the hidden stashes but we'll just have to wait and see how this applies so now we won't all just be running to the same locations we'll be checking them to see if they're there but it's going to take more time to loot things what i think is a really cool ad now selecting body parts to heal with hot keys is a must have this is again something that we've all been asking for for such a long period of time the amount of times in middle of fights where we've taken some damage to all different parts of our bodies or mainly to our chest and we want to heal our chest first because that is the thing we need to protect the most that and the head and then it starts prioritizing and healing the arm over the head for some reason why it done that i do not know it should already had a priority to take care of the most important limbs first other than taking care of legs and arms but hey ho now we have selected heal areas so we'll be able to hot key to specifically heal our chest or our head if need be without having to go into the menu go over to heal and then drag and drop the heal onto that selected body part thank god toggling helmet lights i'm not going to really go over because you guys understand what that is we've kind of already had it for a long time but it's now been updated to work properly so that's good uh, selling all player scav equipment defense was really nice so now where we're like dragging over the most important things from our scav raids we now can just like have that bulk of stuff which is a load of rubbish like i don't know a scav weapon was pretty much nearly dead or some shitty body armor you can just instantly sell that to fence without actually having to go to the menu and sell it to him directly you can just do it straight from there again saving more time with not having to spend inside of the menus more time in raid that is what we want they showed some stuff about the sidearm quick swap and it does improve it a little bit but realistically i don't see a lot of people carrying sidearms over main primaries and switching to those i think it's still going to be the same regardless because primaries just aren't in a really great state when it comes to the power of a primary it's still probably better just to reload your primary is to pull out your sidearm but we'll have to wait and see maybe people adopt it and start using sidearms more often but but again it's something we're just gonna have to wait and see updating the trade ui now we have seen part glimpses of this so i'll throw up a video of it so you guys can see what i'm talking about so in other words you'll be able to switch through the traders much easier with the new bar across the top when you're kind of buying and selling things so the selling and buying things from traders should be quicker if you're not using the preset loadouts and there's something specific that you want that's not in your presets again this is another big update to spending time inside the menu system and getting you into raids faster so it's a big thumbs up from me about that um the new quality of life features that kind of 
ties into a lot of the stuff that I've covered already, like the UI and the loadout system and stuff like that. I'm assuming they're speaking about some different stuff that's coming. Um, we haven't got a massive amount of information on that, so we'll just have to wait and see what comes with that. But any new quality of life features that helps improve the game's UI system or the speed of being in getting into raids or anything like that is a welcome from me. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But the biggest thing coming in the next patch is going to be the new Street of Tarkov expansion. Now, we have got more and more information as the days get closer to what's going on with that. We had some new pictures as of late. It's either going to be a double expansion, meaning it's going to double the size of streets, or they're going to segment it into two different sections. Either we're going to get another half of streets now and then another half of streets in December, or we're going to get the full double size now and there's going to be an extension on that as well. What we don't know, I'm hoping, obviously, for the double size now and then another double size of that again next time in December. But again, we're just going to have to wait and see from that. We know it's going to be on the northern side so where we have the main road at the top where the snipers are it's going to be expanding off of that and then kind of wrapping round all the way down to the apartment buildings at the bottom it's going to be a big expansion and i really cannot wait to jump into there and testing it out because streets is already the best map in the game doubling that increasing the player size as well is going to be a massive update for escape from tarkov i'm going to kind of quickly glance over the next couple of things so it's new equipment and armors we've been shown a few of those stuff um and also guns as well like the pkm the svt avt ak-12 sawn off pm upgrades um because they've redone the pm pistol but that's the suppressed version and the non-suppressed version as well so this is kind of like stuff we get used to pretty much every update we get new armor variations and we get new weapons it'll be nice to test those out but it's not the be all and end all tarkov has already a massive selection of that um the next thing up is the boss caban when this first release we didn't know really anything about him apart from we knew he was going to be riding around on the atv um and is going to have the pkm light machine gun the belt fed but we actually just got yesterday um a picture of what he's going to look like so he actually doesn't have any body armor i'm actually going to pull that up now so here's the picture that bsg tweeted so you can see that he's from this like large man smoking this dope cigar hopefully he's carrying around a cigar puffing it while he's mowing people down with a pkm because that would look insane but he doesn't seem to have any body armor um, so I'm expecting this guy's going to have a massive HP pool. And we know he's going to have some bodyguards as well. Again, cannot wait for him. And it, a, a new boss on the streets map, including with the expansion, is only going to mean big things to the game. So I cannot wait for that. We're getting on to the lighter side of things now. So we're looking at like quest rebalances, what's also awesome because quests are just stale and some of us have done them so many times, it's kind of mind rotting doing them over and over again. So if they change them in some way, making it a little bit more interesting until we get the complete rework work in the future where we actually have quest systems and the current quests that we have are side quests because that's their plan every quest that we have at the moment is supposed to be a side quest and there's going to be actual main storyline quests we do in the future that is going to be cool um but like i said the quest rebalance at the moment can't complain at that glass shade optimization again for increasing performance can't complain at that low source uh, processing optimization optimization is great various technical and functional adjustments again it's going to be optimizations and stuff like that ai behavior improvements now we get these literally Literally like every patch um, and there's never really a drastic change in how the AI perform. They kind of always perform the same. So I'll take that one with a pinch of salt. You never know, we might get a big overhaul and the AI works completely different to how these before, but they pretty much always work the same. So again, we'll just have to wait and see for that. The, the ones below that are ones that are coming in the future and also could be coming in the wide, but it's kind of hard to say at the moment. So we've got client performance optimization. We'll watch it again. Like I said, I've just gone over that before. More optimization. The Unity 2021 was going to be the big one. This could be coming wipe or it could be coming just after that we don't know it's looking like it's going to be coming just after that from where the bar is but like i said the bars are kind of hearsay we don't know when that stuff's coming um the new matchmaker system interested to see what they're going to do with a new matchmaker system i mean i can't complain because that one at the moment is not particularly great um various improvements to launcher and backend anti-cheat system obviously anti-cheat is like the big one that everyone's been going about pretty much since the beginning of last week when we had such a bad cheater issue so any improvements in that area is always going to be great um now the things on the right hand side here like i said are things that are going to be coming just after the wipe some of them not too far from it 
The main one was going to be coming pretty much within, I guess, a month or so afterwards. We've already had teaser videos showing this as a recall rework. So it's not going to be the same as it is in the moment where you fire three or four shots and it pulls up and then the game kicks in the auto recall controller and then starts pulling the gun da back down for you. There will be less of that and you will have to control it more. And I think they were showing as well that the recall patterns as well are going to be more predictable. So a little bit more like CS, for instance, where like the AK people get so good at using that because they learned the recall pattern and they can hold it pretty much like a laser beam thousands of hours of using the weapon over and over again and getting really good at it i mean take that as you will it will either make the really really top end players get even better at the game so i mean it could be a bit more of a problem for the people who only get to play the game for a couple of hours a day i mean we'll just have to again wait and see how that works but to be honest as we all know at the moment once you're gonna get to max level um uh, with the current recall system in effect when you have like a fully decked out m4 they're pretty much a laser a beam anyway so i don't know if that's really going to make much of a difference but we'll just have to wait and see um and then obviously the really big one as well is the vaulting i mean i think that's probably even one of tarkov's biggest changes because you're going to be seeing people doing so much new things when it comes to movement positioning people are going to be getting into places that they never were able to get into before so i think that's probably going to have the biggest change when it comes to this game as well and i would say might even have a more of an effect on camping as well because the vaulting system and the movement system will be a lot more fluid and um, like I said because people will be able to get into a lot of different places it will either increase the amount of camping because people will be able to get into these really like hidden away nooked areas maybe on top of buildings or in certain places because of the vaulting or it could go the other way and because people got so much more fluid movement they'll be able to flank people in positions that I think they're camping like for instance climbing up and getting through top windows of people who are just camping in a room in one of the buildings if you don't got grenades then you could use the vaulting system to be able to take advantage of that and take them out of the buildings that way now the rest of this stuff like you said is becoming later on and probably in the next wipe it's going to be in december so i'll let you guys read the rest of this if you want to pause the video here or i'll leave a link in the description below uh where you can find this and have a read for it in your own personal time and thank you for everyone who's got this far in the video remember to like and subscribe for more content i will be streaming pretty much 12 hours straight when the wipe happens so go check us out on twitch if you haven't already and have a great day